Good morning from Dharamshala. It's like six o'clock, and uh, we're gonna go to Chamba. Let's see where my bus is. Oh, Dharamshala, Kalka. No, I'll have to probably ask somebody. You can go on the top floor. The canteen. Now my bus is actually like 45 minutes later, so it's gonna come from Palampur, stop at Dharamshala, and then go to Chamba. And uh, I think there's like this. Not a 24-7, but like this early morning canteen uh, where you can have your breakfast and stuff. The only breakfast I could find here in the morning was some aloo paratha, yogurt and some sabji or vegetable curry. I'll definitely recommend you to skip this breakfast if you have travel sickness and you're going to Chamba. This is the bus stand and city of Dharamshala and it's going to take roughly about 5 hours and 126 kilometers to reach the city of Chamba. Chamba is also a district in itself. The terrain as you can see is very mountainous and Chamba's elevation is a thousand meters or 3300 feet above sea level. This red circle is the famous Chamba Chogan and this red arrow is the bus stand in Chamba which is gonna be my destination. The four other tourist cities which form a part of Chamba district are Dalhousie, Khajiar, Bharmore and Pangi. This is Chamba. Now the bus stop is there, and uh, I have to look for a hotel. So probably somewhere right there. Both of these roads and the stairs lead to Chamundam Mandir, which is the highest temple in this area. And you can get a view of the entire city of Chamba from the top. Usually this road is full of people, but I'm not sure why there's no people today. This is part one of the stairs and you end up on the main road and then there's more stairs up that way and the view is already starting to look good. Have a safe journey. So that's another part of the stairs. That is the end, almost the end of part two of those stairs. The view is amazing. Just an offbeat location. Oh my God, look at this. That is the Chamunda Mata Temple. And you can see the entire Chamba city from here. Let's go and check out that temple. Oh wow. just about done with this temple and uh, I'm gonna go somewhere right there which looks like a like something to eat something like a cafeteria or something and that's one part of the city on the other side is the other part of the city and that's the Ravi river which flows uh, and the water for the river comes from the Chamera dam which is just about 10 kilometers away I was gonna go there, but I think it's gonna be way too late by the time I come back home. I'm gonna head downstairs and find something to eat in the city. Just for context, here's how steep the stairs are. 
you will need to be in good shape and have lots of strength to climb up to this place. Let's head out to Chamba Market now. Oh, there's just like this playground here. So this is the, this place is called as the Chamba Chogan. Sort of like a ground. And around it, that area, the whole area is the market there. And I'm going to take a walk from this place and then come back from that place. That's the circuit house of Chamba. The Chogan is considered to be located in the center of the city of Chamba. This place holds an annual festival of Chamba which is called as the Minjar festival in where the playground turns into a market or a bazaar. A lot of local people come here for their evening walks. Here's a nice little cafe. Uh, I've got my masala dosa and uh, yeah, the view is not that bad. That right there is the bus stand. And I'm just going to go use the stairs and go downstairs all the way to the bus stand to check my bus for tomorrow, the time of my bus, because I'm going to go to Dalhousie, uh, which is about, uh, say, about 30, 30 kilometers from here. So these stairs will lead me all the way right to that Ravi River. That, that is the ISBT bus stand of Chamba. This road all the way from here will take you down there. Not sure if this is not, not that one. Yo, yeah, se? Yeah, yeah. Achha, se? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Main boom ho gaya. I think I found the way to go downstairs. Whoa. There you go. That's the Ravi river. Please note that approaching anywhere close to this river is highly dangerous. This river has very strong currents and you cannot be rescued if you fall into it. Also, the water from the Chamera dam can be released anytime, causing a sudden change in the water level. My best advice to you if you're watching this is stay far away from this place. somewhere between that current there I went to the river bank first because it was gonna get dark and this is the ISBT and I want to inquire about my bus for tomorrow for Dalhousie uh, it's going to Indore Khajiar oh. there's Poochtash here nobody oh there's somebody sleeping My first bus to Dalhousie is going to be at 5.30 in the morning and it's going to be 8.30. So I'm probably going to catch the 8.30 bus and I'm going to go upstairs now. So this is like the main market. This evening market is really worth the visit. There are also many local restaurants here that you can try. If you want to try traditional Chamba food, I would recommend you to go with Madra or Dham. Chamba is the 10th biggest city in Himachal Pradesh, so it's not that hard to find a lot of stuff here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm gonna go to Dalhousie now and that is where we came yesterday. The playground looks so nice in the daytime as well. 